What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Show back with another video. Now, on the terms of anime games, we really haven't seen anything. There was rumors about. There's basically been a lot of talks, you know, about um the, a new surprise anime game popping up. And I do think, for me personally, another Jump Force would be cool. I don't think, me specifically, I don't think it needs to be a Jump Force format. I feel like the problems with Jump Force were evident when I played the game. Uh, I really enjoyed it. You know, I, th I thought the fight system was cool. I don't really know if that's the route I want to go, though. Like a fighting game. Because you have a game where you have all these different IPs. You have all these different worlds to work with. All these different properties to work with. Is a fighting game really what you want? Now, obviously, people like to pit their favorite characters against their favorite characters. But it's been done twice now. It's been done twice. There was rumors that there was going to be a new game by CyberConnect 2 to deal with, like, the anime stuff. I don't know if that's real anymore. That's probably like a hoax or something. But let's be honest. I would like more of a Kakarot story in terms of like, I want an adventure. You know, I want there to be stuff that you do outside. Like maybe even a single player game. Could be in a little pseudo MMO. That would be cool to like go and uh, play like a Dragon Ball Z game. But like, you know, Xenoverse. Something to play like Xenoverse where you could do a lot of missions and stuff. Kind of how Jump Force had it where you can do missions. But specifically, like a cooperative experience and not necessarily a fighter. Now, this could be in the same format as Xenoverse, or even a little bit like Shinobi Strikers, where you do have that extra mode and you do have those parallel quests and story and stuff that you get into. That specifically, like me, it might be a single player experience. But you also have. I didn't have like that PvP mode on the side. That'd be a little cool experience because I. That would be. That would make sense. It'll make a lot of sense to make a more adventure game. Uh, Jump Force was cool, but I don't think it was a huge success. I think J Stars was currently underrated. Uh, even though I had like the cartoony thing, it had a lot, a lot of characters that I felt like were cool, and it wasn't as expensive as like a creative character story mode. But, but they did have something cool in the fact that they had like a little story mode. Where you go and you fight people and stuff. It was really gimmicky, but at the same time, if it released like maybe on PS2, the game would have been absolutely amazing. We would have still been playing it today, or still been trying to get a remake for it today. And I felt like, yeah, it maybe came out in the wrong time. But with the PS5 and new graphics and next gen, I would love to see an anime game really focused on an adventure. You know, take a main character that you create to solely on your own. Kind of like they did with the uh, with Jump Force. But instead of making it a fighter, make it a world. Like a shared world with all these different creations. Like maybe portals into different worlds. So maybe you want to have like one giant creation that's a mix and match of worlds. But specifically, more of a portal system. Like, you got the hub world. Like, Jump Force could be your hub world. And then, like, you have the world where you dive into, like, things. You get a little bit of story with each character. Each character gets, like, a couple hours of gameplay where you learn their abilities. Uh, make it like Xenoverse, where your entire map, like, once you get done doing some, like, world saving or whatever. Because I'm obviously going to have to save, like, the anime world or whatever. You could actually jump in at very important parts in the anime. It kind of be like in Xenoverse where, and I know I'm heavily taking inspiration from Xenoverse. I do think Xenoverse 1 and 2 is some of the best anime gaming out there right now. Specifically because of the way they approach a story that has been done over and over again. By inserting you into a story that has been done a thousand times, it adds a little bit of a difference. Make it so that you will see these characters and then you'll jump into that world. In the world you'll have like maybe more of a limited experience. But you have a world where you can basically see... Like, just give us a little bit of nostalgia. Like, I would love to go on some of the Gintama locations and stuff and, you know, maybe learn different moves, different techniques from Gintama and carry those into other worlds, other anime worlds. That would be my goal. That'd be cool to, like, go on a comic, do a, learn a comic high from, like, Dragon Ball Z and, you know, learn a transformation or something and then go into, like, Black Clover and use those types of abilities and get some of the magic knights. I feel like that would be such an interesting thing to do. It'd be hard to kind of pin down the actual fighting format, though, because, you know, even though I really do like Jump Force, that could definitely be the way they could model the story mode, because there was a lot of different powers and abilities that really didn't match up in terms of, like, strength. Some some characters could fight against some characters, and that's any fighting game, really. It doesn't matter how strong you are, any character can be beat with any character. So, maybe if you made it an adventure, maybe try to do it by, like, who's the strongest world. 
that'd be cool. Collect items from like that world or that portal to address your character. This could be an amazing game. I feel like with all the IP that they got, it's like, come on now. You guys can come up with something more, a little bit more unique than an actual just anime fighter. Let's just have our favorite kind of anime characters fight each other. I feel like it could be a lot better. Now, I know, generally speaking, maybe due to the licensing, you know, you really can't use every anime world. And generally, when you're talking about anime games, they are low budget. You know, there are anime games where I don't think there's really any anime game I, that I would consider like a super triple A title. I mean, Kakarot was good. It was visually good and everything. And it was cool. But I've never really got that feeling from an anime game where it's just like, oh, wow, this is like God of War level. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not saying that they're not good games. It's just that they're not games that I feel like we're putting way too much money into, you know. And obviously that makes sense because anime games sell. Even if they're not even that great, they sell decent. But I need an anime game that's going to break the loop. Like, Kakarot did fine. Kakarot was good. Great game. Storm is a great game. But... You know, on its own, they really can't beat these top games. You're always going to love to play gaming. Those are like just set pieces to go along with the anime. I generally think they could do some, some real good by taking all these IP that they've gotten. You know, getting this IP, if they're going to make one last game, do not make it a fighter. Make it an adventure game. Make it an action game. Make it a game we don't have to deal with all that. Make it extensive. Spend some money on it. Make the visuals look nice. The thing about it is that Jump Force kind of worked a little bit because they made they brought every every map into like a certain style. Like Jump Force had his own art style. They did that specifically so that they can all combine every world, every map that you play in had his own style and it didn't have any uniqueness to it. That'd be kind of hard to go to like a Dragon Ball Z world in an original animation and have your character look like a Dragon Ball Z character without standing out too much. But honestly, I wouldn't mind. I would definitely love that idea, specifically because the whole thing of like having masters to teach you is really cool. I think that's a cool little interaction and a little bit of extra to add to the game. You know, you can train with your master, you become stronger with them, and they'll teach you different moves. Me specifically, though, I'm just looking for something different. I'm looking for something that's going to change the way we look at anime gaming, because I feel like it's falling stale. I mean, we're getting like Naruto Connections, which is basically a retread of Naruto Storm 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, Tenkaichi 4, it was announced, and we haven't seen anything about that. I'm so scared that Microtransactions is going to ruin that game. And past that, we really don't know any other game. I think One Piece was pretty cool. They had an RPG, but that kind of ran under the rug, and nobody's really talking about it anymore because it was too short. So, with that being said, guys, let me know down below how you feel about the current state of anime games. Are you feeling this? Do you think they could do better? And let me know how you feel down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next video. Stop, Yare, yare,